first thing I do, take my hair out of my towel. Guys, I'm going to be real with you. I didn't actually wash my hair for this video. I just wet it in the shower. Um, I think that this technique works either way. And the first thing I apply is this Olaplex Bond Smoother. This is a leave-in conditioner. And I actually mix this with a little bit of Olaplex hair oil as well. Take about that much because I have pretty long hair. And then I'm taking my Olaplex Bonding Oil. It looks like this. It's so pretty and just golden and beautiful. It makes my hair so shiny. And I turn... There's a hair on it. I'm going to go ahead and take about five drops of this. One, two, three, four, five. Fun, right? I'm kidding. Oh, my lanta. Okay. Mix those together and then I take my hair into two pieces on the sides and gently start to work this through the ends of my hair. Once I have that all the way through my hair, I do, and I know this is probably a huge no-no for girls with curly hair, but my hair is kind of just wavy and frizzy and I'm still able to get the texture I want. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm gonna go through and brush my hair. And I know people are gonna be so upset probably, but I'm just showing y'all what I do. I need to find my part or a part. And then I very gently just kind of brush that through the ends of my hair just to make sure everything is pretty evenly dispersed. I also am losing so much hair. Wow, that's disgusting. The next thing I'm gonna do, I don't always do this, but I've been liking it lately. I'm using a texturizing sea salt spray. This one's by Pacifica. And yeah, just kind of spray that through the ends of my hair. Now is where things really start to take off. I'm gonna use this Curl Power Curl Cream. Get about that much. Go ahead and mix this in between my hands. Sometimes I'll do this and a mousse, but today I'm just doing this. And then start to scrunch your hair. Also y'all, this stuff smells so delicious. Once I feel like everything is kind of in my hair and my hair is starting to get the texture that I want, I'm going to take a clean t-shirt and I'm gonna start scrunching and kind of just drying the pieces. And I don't use a diffuser, I guess I could, but kind of the point of me doing this is so that I'm not putting heat on my hair and just letting my natural texture do its thing. So I'm just using a t-shirt to help speed up the drying process. But once I've kind of scrunched this and I just hang out for a little bit, my hair dries relatively quickly okay i think i'm gonna stop here and i will come back when my hair is dry and show y'all the final look i didn't show this in my last vlog but i got these really cute succulents and i want to show you guys so here's the first one she's just this lovely little lady and look at her so freaking cute i also got this painting um, this is a painting of the university I went to. I ordered it thinking that it would come with a spot for my diploma, which is what I intended. But I guess I picked the wrong thing when I ordered it. So now I just have this huge picture. But it's so pretty and just has like all the iconic IU spots. I kind of love it. So this is the other succulent that I planted. Well, it's a lot of them. I planted all of them. But look how cute. I love these little babies. So cute, and then, yeah, I think there are like five or six of them. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, six. Cute, and this terrazza pot I got from Target, which I was so pleasantly surprised. It was the last one, and it's so beautiful and like very sturdy, so I can have that for a long time, but yeah, those are super cute. So I've been waiting for my hair to dry so that I could finish this video. I wanted this to be kind of just like a hair tutorial, like maybe a five minute video. My hair tutorial is so short, y'all. So I think I'm going to just make this a vlog of what I'm doing today. There's really not much, but I'm kind of thinking about this evening going around kind of the back roads of Montana and taking some pictures because there's some really pretty stuff out there. It's also a pretty rainy day, so... I love like the fog and everything like I think it will just be really cute so really cute really beautiful but right now I'm eating some Cheerios these are berry Cheerios and they're so freaking good I'm gonna do my quiet time so I've been reading along with this church in BC because oh I don't know if y'all can tell I'm just obsessed with Canada 
it's so weird i don't i don't know why i'm this way but i've been reading along with northview community church they have um well they stream their church services weekly and then also on their website they have devos so that you can go each day and do a devo with them which is really really cool um so i've really actually enjoyed this church i know it's weird because it's like in another country <laughs> but yeah i really like it um they have great content great like they're just really good at engaging with you and it like feels a little bit like a community because i don't really have that here um since i just moved here so this has been really sweet and something that's been like pretty stable and so today i'm on day three of esther and i'm gonna read uh, esther chapter 2 8 through 18 and then it has some questions and then kind of like a guided prayer i really do recommend this especially if your church is kind of like just streaming church and not offering other ways for you to feel plugged in and ways for you to feel connected and poured into northview has a lot of really great resources they also do like a northview young adults ministry um if you follow them on instagram they do like weekly prayers and they do yeah just like little sermons every i think it's like every friday so that's really really sweet too and i really enjoy watching those every week so yeah i would recommend checking out northview i'm gonna link them below i'll also tag like the young adults instagram down below also can i just say they're like marketing not marketing what do you call it like their social media and just like their website looks so beautiful like it just makes you want to be a part of it i'm gonna give you guys a little scroll through like look how pretty like i want to read that and so this is what I'm doing today. I will link them below. They're really cool. I could talk about them for a long time, but yes. Okay, gonna do this and then I'll be back. <laughs> All right, you guys, my hair is pretty much dry for the most part. So I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. As we can tell, I need a haircut. The ends of my hair are just like kind of gross. Also, I'm in my PJs. It's Saturday, don't judge me. Yeah, so I love it. It's like pretty soft and shiny has a lot of texture also i like wearing my hair natural because once it's raining who cares if my hair gets wet it just looks better if it gets wet so yeah and this is like really cute too i can kind of like play around with it i can put it up keep it down whatever it looks cute and fun so i've been enjoying really just embracing my natural hair but you guys now i'm going to chill in my bed for a little bit. I think I'm going to watch the Catfish movie. I'm obsessed with the TV show, but I know that the movie is all about Neve and his catfish experience, and I want to see it so bad. So I think I'm going to hang out and watch that for a little bit, and then I will take you guys with me. I plan on going on a little drive. I'll probably bring my dog and maybe snapping some pictures of the beautiful Montana scenery. Howdy, y'all. I am now in the car. I did finish watching the Catfish movie. It was crazy. It makes me just love Neve even more. Like, he's such a kind-hearted human. Um, but I'm in the, th uh, in the car with my dog, Bonnie. But we're gonna go drive, and I'm gonna show you guys the pictures that I take. There's this back road that I really love that I've been biking. And by been biking, I mean I biked yesterday because uh, I just got a bike. But <laughs> I want to keep biking it. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. So I want to show you guys. And I just want to like remember it. Like every time I drive past, I'm like, this is the best thing. Like how do people live here? There are like horses and yeah, just so much beautiful stuff. So I'm going to get some shots of that to show you guys. Guys, I don't think a video will ever do this justice. Bunny. Bunny. Are you happy, girl? I love you. All right, back into the car I go. I always do this. I just stop on the back roads. Probably shouldn't, but no one's out here.
Okay, you guys, a little update. I'll put um, my Instagram story in the video, but um, I just went to Starbucks. I really wanted one of their iced, like, passion. No, iced guava white teas, and so I got one of these and a marshmallow dream bar. And then they gave Bonnie a little thing of whipped cream, and she was so cute. She literally took the cup and just started, like, eating it. Happy. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my gosh. Just ate all of that. I'm gonna go ahead and drive home now. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I wanted to show you guys to finish off my day. I'm making gluten-free macaroni and cheese, and I'm also FaceTiming my friend Stasia. So she's going to say bye. Do you want to outro the vlog for me, Stasia? My screen still looks crazy, but... Um... Gang, gang, like and subscribe to Stevie's channel. <laughs> All right. We love you, and we'll see you on our, my next video. Bye.